Okay, so we are investigating the peculiarities of contact influenced varieties of Russian spoken in northern Siberia and the Russian Far East. Our investigation is based on a small corpus of oral text produced by bilingual speakers of Samoyedic and Tungusic languages, which were transcribed and manually annotated by our research group. And these texts actually were a byproduct of recent projects on documentation of indigenous languages of the area. And one of the aims of the talk is to demonstrate how these data can be used in studies on language contact. So the outline is as follows. First, we discuss our corpus. Then we discuss some case studies uh, based on our corpus. The first, gender disagreement. Second, prepositive genitive. And third, non-standard use of the reflexive affix sia. Then we discuss frequency of corpus-induced features. Then we discuss everything. And then we show some other studies on our corpus data. Uh, so, uh, the corpus consists of uh, Tungusic Russian uh, from speakers of Nanai and Auch and uh, Samoyedic Russian, speakers of Enets, Nenets and Ganesan. And at the moment we have transcribed about 30 hours of speech and we have annotated it. Uh, but uh, online, uh, only a small part of the data is available online in a test mode, but we plan to make this small part the big part later. Uh, so we are studying contact phenomena in bilingual Russian. And we are discussing today striking non-standard grammatical features, as I have already said, gender disagreement, non-standard word order in the noun phrase, and non-standard use of the refle reflexive sa. Why have we chosen these features? Because they are frequent both in Tungusic and in Samoyedic subcorpora, and they are reported to be typical also of other contact-influenced varieties of Russian, for example, in Dagestanian Russian. Uh, so we will show frequency distribution between the standard and non-standard variants attested in the corpus, and we will discuss possible sources of the deviation from monolingual Russian. And the main question is to which extent do the contact influenced Russian varieties in question form a separate consistent grammatical system different from the standard one. So first is gen gender disagreement. Uh, both Tungusic and Samoyedic languages lack gender system, so we expect that there will be no standard gender system in, in Tungusic and Samoyedic Russian. And we have three types of gender disagreement, first with adjectives, as in the example one, maya, feminine, babka, masculine. Then with, with verbs, babka, feminine, and pomer, masculine. And with personal pronouns, starushka is feminine, but on is masculine. Uh, so first uh, is the, the frequency of disagreement for different types, and we calculated it for each speaker. And we see that each speaker has the same hierarchy, so uh, mismatches, gender mismatches occur in adjectives the most, then in verbs, and then in pronouns. Um, another tendency is that uh, the rate of non-standard gender agreement is lower for human nouns, or nouns with natural gender, as we can see from the graph. So uh, human is blue and non-human is red, and more, and we see that more mismatches are with non-human nouns. But uh, this, but actually, non-standard agreement is quite widely attested for human nouns as well. So, first example is uh, a transition from feminine to masculine: bagaty, stary, masculine, babushka, feminine, and uh, from masculine to feminine as well: bagaty, feminine, yet masculine. Uh, another hierarchy is uh, masculine, feminine, neuter, and it means that masculine is the most frequent, frequent target of a gender transition, as we can see from the graph. Uh, usually everything switches to masculine. However, the picture is complex uh, because it's not default masculine everywhere. Sometimes we have feminine as well. So uh, we see that there is no consistent non-standard gender system, even on, on the level of a particular speaker. And these are rather deviations from the standard gender system. However, these deviations reveal some regularity. Uh, adjectival agreement is affected more than verbal, and anaphoric relations are the least affected. Uh, then human nouns uh, with natural gender are less affected, 
and neuter disappears first and masculine is the most stable and finally transitions to masculine are the most frequent and transitions to neuter are not tested at all. Uh, then prepositive genitive. Uh, in standard monolinguals Russian, uh, we usually hear noun plus genitive, dom atsa. But in Tungusic and Semitic languages, it's the opposite, genitive plus noun. And in our Russian data, we have come across prepositive genitive constructions, as in six and seven, atsa dom with genitive and brat dom with nominative. And the first hypothesis is that it is the influence of the uh, first language pattern. But actually there could, could be an, uh, an alternative hypothesis that genitive plus n is simply a feature of oral informal speech because uh, there are some instances of prepositional genitive constructions in oral informal speech of monolinguals, as in eight. So that's why we used a contrastive corpus of oral mono monolinguals Russian and uh, from the graph, you can see that the rate of prepositive genitives is sig significantly higher in our data, our first two columns, than in monolinguals oral and formal speech. Uh, so, uh, prepositive genitive is blue. Uh, uh, we have a tendency here as well. Uh, prepositive genitive is uh, more used with kinship relations. Uh, again, we can see it on the graph, uh, uh, that's all prepositive genitives and kinship semantics is blue and non-kinship is red. So uh, the effect is significant for Samoyedic and for monolinguals, but not for Tungusic. And why is so? Because uh, in Tungusic Russian there are two patterns with prepositive dependent. First is with the nominative, lipakara, and the second is with genitive, sabakishe. And uh, on the first graph, we can see that kin, uh, this nominative is not usually used with kinship semantics. Uh, that's why the effect of kinship relation takes place here as well, but only for genitive. So in the second graph, you see that if we take both genitive and nominative, it will not be significant. But if we take only genitive, it will be significant. So the frequency of prepositive genitives in bilingual speech is significantly higher compared to data of oral and formal speech of Russian monolinguals. And it can be explained by contact influence, since in Tungusic and Samoyedic, genitive dependence are strictly prepositive. Still, uh, the use of prepositive genitives is just a tendency, and a factor regulating the choice between genitive plus n and n plus genitive is kinship relations, a relation, but uh, it cannot be explained by contact influence since it works also in oral monolingual Russian. Uh, yes, and uh, now I will turn to uh, our um, last uh, case study on a non standard use uh, of the reflexive uh, suffix sia. Uh, and um, uh, in uh, this uh, affix um, has no clear correlates uh, neither um, either in uh, Tungusic languages or in uh, Samoyedic ones. Um, in Samoyedic, uh, we can compare it um, more or less with uh, medial conjugation, and in Tungusic languages, uh, with uh, mm, a quite a right a range of uh, different uh, markers such as the causative. Uh, impersonal construction and uh, some other markers um, and um, it's quite expectable that uh, in Tungusic and uh, Samoyedic Russian uh, we have lots of um, non-standard uses uh, or unpredicted uh, omissions uh, of this uh, affix because it doesn't correspond uh, mm, to um, some particular um, uh, some particular mm, markers uh, in their uh, native languages. Uh, so, uh, in the level we have um, the omission of sia, uh, astal instead of astalsa, and in 12 we have um, overuse of uh, sia. Uh, mm, we don't uh, expect uh, this affix uh, with uh, the verb stayet, stayu, um, in, in standard Russian, but stayus uh, in uh, this. Um, uh, example from uh, Tungusic um, Russian. Uh, so, uh, 
we could expect that uh, non-standard uses uh, can be um, explained uh, by um, in terms of uh, direct copying from uh, their uh, native language pattern, but, it isn't, uh, but this isn't the case. Um, uh, for some examples, we can propose such explanation, but not for all our non-standard uses. Of so, for example, in 13, what uh, um, uh, this is very similar to the uh, na uh, nanai pattern, to the impersonal construction with uh, mm, some uh, dedicated uh, nanai marker. Uh, however, uh, in 14, piripulsa, uh, uh, this uh, the explanation here uh, is uh, um, different. Uh, here uh, we suppose that uh, mm, a similar verb, uh, similar Russian verb, uh, uh, affects uh, this uh, uh, example. We have "переправился" uh, in Russian, and so we have, uh, due to the analogy with this verb, uh, we have "переплылся" uh, in um, the speech of Ngalasa. Uh, and um, the same picture is for uh, omissions of sa. Uh, in uh, 15, uh, we have uh, radila instead of radilas uh, because we have a uh, new um, dedicated marker uh, in nanai uh, for this um, meaning uh, to be born. Uh, and um, however, in 16, ya uh, ispugal instead of uh, ispugalse. Uh, here, um, in uh, forest uh, enets, uh, we would expect uh, in this context uh, medial conjugation uh, that uh, more or less corresponds to uh, the Russian sa and uh, um, can support it. Uh, however, uh, we have uh, omission in, the, uh, in their Russian speech here. Uh, and um, some uh, uh, modest statistics um, on this uh, on these uh, overuses and omissions of SIA. Um, uh, here you can see that both uh, in Tungusic Russian and in Samoyedic Russian uh, we have slightly more uh, slightly more uh, overuses uh, than omissions of SIA uh, read uh, in this diagram, and uh, the majority of these omissions. Uh, come from uh, irregular uses of sa, such as deponent verbs that uh, cannot be used without sa uh, in standard Russian or um, uses with non transparent uh, uh, meaning of um, sa. Uh, however, um, here you can see. Um, the more a more detailed picture on uh, different uh, meanings uh, of um, this uh, reflexive uh, sia. It has not uh, only the reflexive proper meaning in Russian, but uh, differ, um, uh, a wide range of different meanings. So uh, here we calculated for each particular type of uh, sia uh, uses uh, the rate of uh, uh, standard uses in our corpus um, in red uh, and uh, non-standard uses uh, in blue. Uh, and um, I will not uh, go into detail, uh, into detail here, but um, the most interesting thing uh, here is that um, for this um, we could expect uh, lots of uh, non-standard uses for uh, this uh, uh, mm, uh, irregular meanings uh, of cell because they are um, difficult to acquire. However, uh, we um, uh, do not uh, find uh, such a correlation. Uh, the uh, rate uh, of uh, non mm, of omissions of sa uh, with the uh, irregular uh, sa verbs uh, is not uh, very high. Uh, so, mm, uh, a brief summary. Uh, first, uh, the non-standard use or omission of sa cannot be fully explained by direct. Uh, structural copying from uh, the native language, and um, uh, the system of SA uses uh, in um, our uh, contact influenced variety um, doesn't form um, a consistent uh, system, uh, and um, some of our uses and omissions can be explained by um, can be in fact explained by 
um, native language influence, uh, but for uh, other um, uh, for other ones. Uh, Mm, we have to uh, propose uh, other explanations and the, mm, the mm, main factor uh, seems to be um, difficulties in acquisition of uh, um, this um, marker. Uh, yeah. And um, some data on general frequency of different contact uh, mm, induced uh, features uh, um, attested in our data. Uh, here you can see the distribution uh, of uh, non-standard uh, features uh, connected um, uh, of uh, different uh, levels. Um, uh, lexicon, uh, yellow, loan words and semantic calcs. Uh, morphology in red, um, non-standard uh, formal morphology and uh, non-standard use of um, grammatical categories such as tense aspect and so on. Uh, and uh, um, syntax uh, in blue, and here you can see that um, the most uh, frequent, uh, the most frequent uh, non-standard uh, uses uh, come from the syntactic level, uh, both from uh, Samoyedic Russian and uh, Tungusic Russian. And uh, here you can see a more detailed uh, picture, um, a more detailed distribution um, across uh, different. Uh, uh, contact uh, induced features uh, and the features uh, we have just discussed um, are marked with uh, mm, uh, red um, uh, reflexive uh, uh, different types of uh, non standard agreement uh, and uh, non standard uh, word order in the noun phrase. Uh, uh, this first part uh, is uh, morphological uh, peculiarities and the second part. Uh, is uh, syntactic uh, peculiarities. And uh, here you can see that um, the most uh, frequent uh, non-standard uh, features um, are uh, disagreement uh, that we have just discussed, uh, preposition drop, uh, as uh, in, in examples um, such as you can see here, как я с тобой тундре жить буду instead of в тундре, ребята мы будем instead of к ребятам, uh, and um, argument encoding um, uh, such as, for uh, example, этим шкурой uh, делали клей instead of uh, из шкуры. Um, and um, as for generalizations, uh, uh, we can say that uh, mm, features connected more to under acquisition of standard Russian are more frequent than those that um, can be explained as a clear calculus from uh, the native language. Uh, so, a brief uh, discussion. Um, first, contact induced features attested uh, in our uh, data from Samoyedic and Tungusic uh, Russian, uh, the speech of uh, modern bilinguals, uh, do not form a separate consistent grammatical system uh, as we could expect. Uh, and we deal rather with um, some contact influenced deviations from the standard Russian system. Uh, however, um, these deviations are uh, function quite uh, regularly, uh, and this regularity uh, can be revealed uh, in their frequency distribution, in the frequency distribution of standard and non-standard uh, uses, uh, and um, uh, the uh, uh, corpus tools are um, very useful for such uh, investigation. Uh, and um, as for general frequency of uh, contact-induced features, uh, the syntax level uh, is the most uh, affected uh, by contact in terms of frequency, uh, and uh, the most frequent, uh, frequent features are disagreement and preposition drop. Uh, and um, uh, in general terms, um, features uh, connected more, uh, more to under acquisition are more frequent uh, in our data than um, cases that can be explained by uh, direct clear um, calking from um, uh, native languages. Thank you. Them. Ah, them. And, sorry, I forgot one more slide with uh, uh, other uh, case studies uh, we have uh, already um, conducted on our data. <laughs> Thank you.
wanted to use across Russian dialects, in particular in the dialects of this area, can it be some more complicated and more widespread than that? Uh, yeah, thank you for your question. Uh, uh, actually, uh, this question is quite uh, common for <laughs> our talks. Every mm -hmm. our talk is um, commented uh, like this. Um, and um, yes, um, uh, mm, yes. Uh, in fact, uh, in Russian dialects, uh, uh, we uh, usually have uh, something very similar uh, to um, our um, observations. Uh, however, uh, mm, uh, as far as we know, uh, these uh, modern speakers uh, mm -hmm. of um, uh, the languages um, under discussion are, are in contact uh, in quite, uh, uh, with quite uh, standard varieties of Russian, uh, um, at least nowadays. So, well, perhaps so that can be the part of some Mm. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, this must be mm, fixed, uh, but, but the, we don't uh, support, uh, support it to be the case here, actually, mm. Mm. because uh, maybe uh, they are in contact, uh, they were uh, in contact with uh, some dialectal variety, but uh, not only with this variety. Uh, uh, these are um, areas where uh, quite uh, different, uh, this is the area of, um, uh, uh, of a very high mobility, in fact, uh, for with uh, uh, Russian people. So uh, uh, we cannot trace uh, all, uh, the contact, uh, all the contacts of part uh, our particular speakers. Uh, so maybe uh, in this, uh, maybe in this uh, small village, uh, uh, their first teacher was uh, a speaker of uh, some non standard variety of Russian, but. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, the second question if I missed it, not your uh, hierarchy between seemed more complex. Well, I'm a bit doubtful about it uh, because, uh, well, can it be the case that uh, uh, your speakers have just more attempts to make a mistake in uh, things like coordination than uh, they have, uh, well, polysimus lexics in the text where they can really make a mistake in uh, some polysimus pattern? Well, perhaps you. They need some kind of uh, weighted measure, I don't know, to uh, uh, well balance the statistics according to uh, the frequency of which phenomenon you are Yeah, thank you. Of, of course, uh, we need some, um, uh, some um, more detailed uh, statistics, and these data are quite um, just. So, uh, just to show you the whole picture. Yeah. Is such a specific, yeah. peculiar yeah. thing that will definitely do. 
and probably we should look at it from this point of view. Because I also have this question, do we have the varieties that we have, for instance, in Alaskan Russian because it's dialectal features or not? Or what is this, the language of the Russian old settlers in Yakutia? Is it the result that their first language was Yakut? Or was it, again, the result that they actually came from uh, Russian uh, there, ancestors came from Russian uh, various uh, regions of Russia? I think this is all secondary, all uh, sort of auxiliary to the main fact that whenever yeah. Russia is in contact, you have this problem. Yeah. Except for you find the language which has exactly the same distribution of, for instance, masculine, feminine, and neuter, the same distribution of S, no, and then you just get another yeah. Russian. Yeah. You won't. Yeah. And the same distribution yeah. of uh, label, for instance, uh, verbs that will come. Thank you for your um, question. And uh, actually, it was our starting point uh, where. Um, uh, mm, uh, we have chosen uh, exactly this set of uh, pictures for this talk, uh, exactly because they are uh, since they, they, they seem to be um, mm, very widespread in bilingual speech. We know it, yes. Uh, and um, uh, our idea was uh, first uh, to um, to uh, observe them. Uh, um, on quite uh, massive uh, text data, mm -hmm. and uh, second, maybe uh, on uh, this level uh, of decolonization, uh, to find uh, or not to find uh, some, um, for them, some differences between Tunguzi and Samoyedic Russian, and uh, maybe some differences uh, from what we observe for uh, other bilingual uh, varieties. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, our, our preliminary results are that uh, the main factor is uh, exactly uh, that you mentioned. Which means, which is very important result yeah. if you agree with it, and probably methodology, methodologically, when we start this kind of conduct and use Russian or whatever, we have to start based on some, of course, accumulated data from a kind of possible uh, potential yeah. in hierarchy of those features that we look at, not starting from Russian, not from, not from their languages. Usually, we know where we have to. We, we may expect that the Russian for, uh, forms, constructions, phonemes, even maybe would be mis uh, misacquitted acquitted by another language. And you can find it with the typology of different uh, languages with which Russian is in contact, and you will see that it's, it's not exactly. Uh, takes place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you could go back to the, the last slide of section three. Section three. The last slide. Yeah, uh, the, yeah this one. Thanks. Um, uh, you, uh, you mentioned under acquisition versus yeah. calcs from L1, yeah. but how do you classify these uh, these examples here uh, and, and why? Thank you for your um, question. Um, uh, here. <laughs> I, I mean, uh, uh, I mo I'm most interested in the uh, what ideologically mm -hmm. and the preposition. Uh, yes, uh, as for Shpuri dialectically, uh, I would say that uh, uh, it is um, uh, more probable to be uh, a structural cult because uh, we have uh, the instrumental uh, case here in uh, their native uh, language. It comes from either from Uch uh, or from Nane, but uh, in both languages it, uh, um, it will be uh, the instrumental case here. Uh, and uh, as for uh, preposition drop, actually, uh, mm, uh, the picture is not so clear. Um, uh, and <laughs> uh, in fact, we um, had a talk uh, uh, in particular on this preposition in uh, 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 on uh, at the conference, um, uh, at the same conference uh, <laughs> uh, um, uh, last year. Three years ago, uh, and we uh, mm, uh, show there that uh, our starting point uh, was that uh, maybe um, there are um, 
can be uh, mm, such preposition omissions uh, can be uh, interpreted uh, as uh, as calking in, as calking of uh, of uh, uh, case form uh, because uh, both in Tungusic and in uh, some Arabic languages uh, we have uh, a simple case form uh, instead of this uh, prepositional phrase uh, in Russian. Um, however, uh, the picture is the, the picture uh, is mm, uh, the uh, our data uh, do not uh, mm, confirm uh, this uh, hypothesis, and uh, it is more uh, mm, more uh, possible that uh, mm, here we deal uh, with uh, also with sort of uh, under position of the Russian system, or maybe with some uh, phonetic uh, processes. So, so um, it's difficult for uh, speakers uh, of uh, Tungus and some Arabic uh, languages to have this uh, mm, these uh, clusters, this initial cluster. So simply uh, phonetic reasons. Not for n not all uh, um, prepositional omissions uh, can be explained by uh, these uh, phonetic reasons, but uh, the majority of them. <laughs> Some of our examples can be, uh, in fact, can be explained uh, by Haku. So, uh, this is the case uh, uh, when uh, mm, uh, all our uh, data consists on, uh, only uh, of uh, these uh, other quiet uh, factors. No. No, so this was uh, quite a, a complicated uh, data. <laughs> uh, am I right that all of your corpus is in stand standard Russian orthography? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I made this comment before. Excuse me if I already did, but uh, I think it's a very contra um, controversial mm -hmm. decision because you miss all the phonetic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Phenomena. And, uh, you um, Russian orthography is not transparent enough to be used as a meta transcription. Yeah. Occasionally, you slip to forms like Unia, but uh, you miss many things. So. Uh, you are right. Uh, we miss uh, all uh, phonetic stuff, uh, which is um, maybe uh, the most common <laughs> in their speech. Um, however, uh, we have some uh, technical uh, reasons for uh, our choice uh, because it's uh, mm, much more uh, easy, uh, much easier to um, uh, annotate uh, uh, this data mm -hmm. uh, with, um, provided as uh, morphological um, text. Um, it's actually it's because of the corpus, because we plan to put all this data in the corpus and provide it with uh, notation, so we can just uh, find like all genetic forms, so it will be difficult. Yeah. So we have a uh, platform uh, with uh, um, included uh, um, semi-automatic uh, um, well, that's a logical uh, computation notation, so just that, more That's a logical computation menu, not a source for that. So, and uh, we are particularly more interested uh, actually in grammar than in phonetics, so it's a uh, personal choice, uh, but yes. Uh, and and the power would think that uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if a linguist is interested uh, in phonetics, uh, will use our corpus, uh, he or she uh, will uh, listen all, uh, all the examples by... Uh, no, it's not just phonetics. No, 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 it's no, no, no. not just phonetics. Yes, yeah. it's about syntax and logic. Because when you mentioned that there is some uh, resemblance with the oral Russian, mm -hmm. uh, but it's not enough because it's, a, it's exactly because you are using orthography. You, you are doing sometimes a very simple, but it's course transcription by like using You probably would see more similarity with oral Russian. Uh, but uh, just as an example. Uh, well, mm, while uh, annotating uh, our data, uh, we uh, listen, uh, uh, 
listen to uh, uh, these examples. So, um, in a way, agitate uh, the data manually, or will it uh, provide uh, um, each uh, uh, word or uh, um, close uh, with uh, some um, tag? Uh, and we uh, have uh, something uh, non standard here, and uh, we, can, uh, we can find it. So, we can mark. How would your parser understand forms like Pascal or Stayush? Uh, uh, so okay. that's the very core of your interest, right? So, uh, yes. <laughs> so, well, parser is So we can find uh, something by this step, and then we can find all the uh, Russian works with this step. So standard user, uh, users uh, uh, will be um, uh, parsed uh, correctly, uh, and uh, non-standard users uh, will be um, annotated manually by ourselves. <laughs> so uh, actually, we uh, miss uh, only this uh, phonetic step. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what we miss. <laughs> <laughs>